हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस टूडे इस ट्यूटोरियल विल बी ऑन आई एस एस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्यूटोरियल वी विल सॉल्व सम सम्स दैट हैज अपीयर इन द प्रीवियस ईयर्स ऑफ दिस एग्जाम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव एक्सेस टू द फुल सल्यूशन सेट द इंटायर सल्यूशन सेट दैन यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट अस ऑन नाइन एट थ्री सिक्स सेवन नाइन थ्री जीरो सेवन सिक्स we also provide study material and pre recorded lecture so if you want to have access to those then you can check in our website which is www.sorofsirclasses.com in today's tutorial the question has been picked from the year 2016 the paper is 3 and the question number is 2a The question reads as describe the problem of multicollinearity in general linear model and explain how you will detect it. This is a 10 mark question divided into two parts. So first let us discuss what do we understand by multicollinearity. So multicollinearity refers to a situation where predictors of the model are correlated with other predictors in the model then the problem of multi collinearity arises so this is multi collinearity now whether it is a problem or not let us see now if there is moderate multi collinearity then this is not a problem or may not be a problem so may not be problematic okay however if the multi collinearity is severe then there is a problem because it can increase the variance of the coefficient estimates and and if this happens then it will make then it means that it makes the estimates very much sensitive to minor changes in the model okay so now you must be wondering if this at all happens if the estimate becomes sensitive what is the problem there is a lot of problem because this will result so let me change the color this will result in so this will result the result will be that the coefficient estimates will turn to be unstable and given they are in unstable they will become difficult to interpret so if interpretation is not possible then the model itself will not work it will not hold good okay so this is why multi collinearity is considered to be a problem now if it is such a big problem then how then the next part is how we can detect it so let's answer the next part so the next part of the question that was asked was how you can detect it how you can say that there is multi collinearity for a general general model so there are many ways let us look at some the first is 
large changes in the estimated regression coefficient will take place this will happen when a predictor variable so variable is added or deleted so when this happens then you can you can be spec skeptical doubtful about presence of multicollinearity this is one of the signals number 2 now if there are two things simultaneously happen that means if the regression coefficients for the affected variables is insignificant or are insignificant so this you get but there is also along with this there is a rejection of the joint hypothesis that those coefficients are all zeros so if both the things if this also happen and there is rejection of this also then you can do you say that it will give you a hint or signal that multicollinearity is present and in this case you can use the f test number 3 now for 3 is the vif vif is nothing a formal detection tolerance or the variance inflation factor termed as vif for multicollinearity so tolerance is equal to 1 minus r square j where this is the coefficient of determination of the regression okay and vif is equal to 1 by tolerance so a tolerance of less than say 0.2 or 0.10 that means a vif of 5 or 10 or above indicates or signals of the problem of multicollinearity and lastly we will discuss this so number 4 now if a multi variable regression finds an insignificant coefficient of a particular explanator so instead of explanator i am writing as as x okay yet a simple linear regression of the explained variable
on this explanatory variable x shows its coefficient to be significantly different from zero or other than zero then you can sense that there is some kind of indication of multicollinearity in, t in the multivariable regression. So with this we finish the answer. Here we have de defined four methods. There are more methods that can be also discussed. We are keeping it short. So I hope this tutorial in which we have solved a sum on multicollinearity that was asked in one of the years, previous years, was helpful. If it was well explained and you have able to grasp the concept of multicollinearity, then please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, share our videos and thank you so much for watching.